Alex, it's a boy or girl. Girls. All three of them. They look worse than you do. You know their names? I'm not acting. You know, we can easily move you to a different school. There are a lot of really good private schools right in this neighborhood. I'm not running away. I'm not scared of them. I'm not afraid of anything. Like that time in kindergarten when you insisted that I bring you home from the slumber party because all the other girls were sleeping with the nightlight on. I know you've gotten the short end of the stick lately. It's new, and your dad and I haven't exactly been great to be around. Why don't you guys get divorced if you're so miserable? We still love each other. You should have fooled me. I thought you hated each other. Or at least you hated him. I don't blame you, he's a shithead. It's okay. He was a shithead. You know, we got a lot of history. Dad's been through a lot, I've been through a lot. Guess we need each other. What are you scared of? You said I'm not scared of anyone, so what scares you? Lately? One less high school bitch making the lives of the less fortunate more tolerable is, in my opinion, a public service. Look, you want to leave me alone, stop making your life a living hell, short of killing her, there's only one solution. Scare her. Make her afraid of you. It's the only thing bullies react to. How? It's simple. You simply walk up to her and say, Here's the deal. I need you to stop harassing me. I got what you want. Drugs. Come to our house tomorrow for your free sample. I'm a dealer and a good one. I got the best shit in town. She's a cokehead. I don't have coke. You won't need any. It's just an excuse to get her here. After that, she'll leave empty-handed and terrified. And I promise you, you'll never be bothered by her again. How am I going to terrify her? Oh, it's a sculpture. That's where I come in. <laughs>